Welcome back to Dawn's Life. Welcome to the channel. Hey Maggie, thanks for joining today. She's excited because we're going camping. We're going to take my 2021 GMC Sierra AT4 and we're going to tow that beast right there. So we got about 6,500 pounds dry. We've got another probably 1,000, 1,500 pounds of stuff that we got to put in it because when you take a family camp and that's what happens, we're going to hook up the Escalade to the boat and we're going to get on the road and give you some towing impressions. So let's get organized. Let's go. start, new exhaust. I'm going to take this opportunity while I have both vehicles out here to measure the current ride height. So we got maybe, you know, 120 pounds of bikes there. I'm not sure, maybe more, a little less, but we're at 40 and a half to the wheel well. And we've got 38 at the front on the Escalade. We've got 35, and for the back wheel on the Escalade, we've got 37. Now the Escalade also has an air ride system, so once I hook up to the boat, it'll probably level itself out. Let's hook up. Right now the jack is holding everything up, but we have one wheel down the curb, we have the other one up on the curb. I'm going to release the jack, that's going to make the truck start to squat, but it's going to be all uneven. So we want to pull it out onto the road here, and then we will figure out what the right amount of air in the airbag should be, because right now there's none, so it's pretty much like stock. So let's drop it down, move it out to the street, and adjust it.
Okay, we got all the vehicles hooked up. I'm just gonna measure the uh, wheel well gaps right now. So on the Escalade on the back, we've got 36 and a half. So I'll put the old number on the screen. Here we've got about 35 and three quarters. I'll put the old measurement here on the screen. For the AT4, we've got 38 and a half. I'll put the old measurement here on the screen. And in the back, remember no air, just the uh, five pounds. We've got 38, maybe a quarter. And I'll put the old number here on the screen. Now, one thing I noticed is the trailer is up just a little bit. You want that to be as level as possible. So if I go and put more air in here, it's just gonna continue to lift the trailer up. So I'm gonna take off my hitch and I'm going to adjust this um, in favor of getting the trailer level once I put a little bit of air in. So I'm gonna put some wheel chocks on, put this back up on the uh, jack stand, and then I'll take this hitch off and make some adjustments. Let's go. Okay, we've adjusted the hitch because it was set up for my last truck, which was a 2013 Sierra Denali. And this has a two inch lift, so it was two inches too high. So now it's lower. And now once we take the jack out, hopefully the trailer will level off a bit. The truck might even sag more with this adjustment. And then we'll adjust the airbags to get it nice and level. We are almost level. It does need to come up a little bit, which is good because we're gonna put a little bit of air in the bags. So let's go up to uh, 15 or 20 pounds here. Twenty pounds. Let's measure it. Thirty-eight and five eighths. Thirty-eight and a quarter. I'm going to leave it right there, and we're going to get on the road. We'll get you some footage, a bit of a montage. And we'll get to the campsite and I'll let you know how the uh, toy's going. Here's the exhaust sound, really no drone. I'm at cruising speed in towing mode on the highway. My RPMs are pretty low. Can't really hear the drone, got the wife behind me. Towing the boat, like a champ. And uh, yeah, so far this is towing very nice. I can take my hands off the wheel and she stays in the lines. Pretty cool. going to be a really good test because this is one bumpy ass road. Just have a look. I'm going over a ton of bumps. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty smooth. It's not really bouncy and I'm going to attribute that to the airbags. Definitely levels it out. So far, it's been a pretty good tow experience. Don't get me wrong, I can tell there's a lot of weight back there, but I totally feel confident in this truck's ability to tow this much weight safely at this speed on terrain like this. I'm pretty impressed. Let's keep going.
all the joys of camping, we got to move sites two or three times while we're here. Pretty crazy, but that's how it goes sometimes. As you can see, we are back from the camping trip. Everything's put away, disconnected. I'm in the truck filming the end of this video because it's super, super windy outside. You can see garbage cans knocked over all over the street. Uh, one of the great things about living in the prairies, I guess. Anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the experience overall with the towing. So my spec of truck in this 2021 GMC Sierra AT4 uh, half ton, 6.2 liter 10 speed transmission is its Max tow rating is 8,800 pounds. That trailer there, fully loaded with all the stuff we brought, was around 8,000 pounds. Now I have a few modifications to the truck that would influence how the towing experience is. In this case, I have some airlifter springs in the back. There's another video on that. I'll put the link up above here. They help with the ride quality, especially help eliminating any bounce. If I've got extra payload in the box, they help with the um, any sag that might occur. Um, and also cornering and just handling, uh, they help eliminate body roll and that type of thing. They are not a substitute to try and add extra tow capacity to the vehicle. That's not what they're intended for. They just help even out the load that you have and, and make things a little more comfortable. Also with this trailer, I'm using a weight distribution hitch. So what it's going to do is it's going to distribute, that's why the name weight distribution, it's going to distribute weight of the trailer into the front axle on the pole vehicle. So that way your front end stays planted and you have better steering control and braking. Make sure, and you may have not have seen this in the, in the notes kind of on the video as you watched it, but set up your air ride first if you're using airbags, get it to that comfort level that you want, then make the final adjustments on your weight distribution hitch, and then you should be good to go. Now you might be wondering about fuel mileage. Well, I was in headwinds on the way back and I measured it and I was about eight to nine miles per gallon, which again, with a half ton truck, big engine, a lot of weight, I'm not expecting to have great fuel economy. That's not the point. Uh, in calmer winds on the way to the lake, I was getting about nine or 10 miles per gallon. Again, that's what I expect. Uh, I'm not saying that it's uh, amazing in any way. I, I think it's just about average. Uh, so anyway, that was pretty good. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I threw in a little bit of, you know, Don's life personal uh, stuff in there. So if you like vlogs and you'd like to see more of that content, let me know in the comments and maybe I can create some of that on the side. But anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.